All right, so I've realized that I haven't uh, filmed a confessional type vid in a while. Um, we've been on and off uh, removing panels, and uh, right now we're at the point where we are uh, clearing out the old spun fiberglass insulation from the walls and the ceiling. Um, the ceiling was completed a couple days ago, and now there's just a nice fine layer of dirt over, or of uh, fiberglass dust over everything. So uh, I'm going to start out with just a little bit more of a clean and running through with a shop vac just to pull up everything else that we can so that it's an easier working environment. And next up after that is going to be, I think, working on some of this floor that we have to get pulled up. So we're in upstate New York and uh, the weather can be unforgiving and erratic at times, but we finally have some decent sun, some good temperatures, I can take off the hoodie, and uh, today's going to be a day where we work on a couple different projects. I already got a head start on pulling some of the flooring material, but there's some stuff to capture there. So we'll go into a little more detail on how we're going about removing the plywood subfloor. Also I'm going to build some tools and jigs to help me uh, handle the, the floor mounted rail system uh, that has bolts that are uh, bolted through and are nuts on the underside. So rather than making this a two person job, I'm going to build a set of extra hands to hold the wrench underneath while I drill out from above. Let's get to it. So when I woke up this morning, I excitedly sketched out this plan for a really cool wooden block that uh, was going to house this ratchet and, uh, and kind of wedge in place against the rails on the underside. Uh, but as soon as I got underneath the bus to take a look at what I was actually dealing with, that whole plan was just too pretty and not useful enough. Uh, what I did come up with, though, is that I've got some of this leftover rail that I took off of the, the side of the bus. And my intention is to just sort of open it up a little bit so that this thing can sit in the side a little bit better right here and I'll be able to put this underneath the bus and then clamp this into place so that there will be a nice, uh, a nice wedge in there and hopefully that will work out. Also, my favorite thing about this bus having a wheelchair lift is that you can set it to wherever you want to and have a nice little workbench, uh, work table area. So, here we go. see how we do here. First got to make sure that we're set to loosen. This rail with some handy uh, rust breaking penetrating liquid fluid and I should have my ratchet on this 
toothbrush guy, so we're just gonna take a shot at it and see what it does. <laughs> All right, now repeat dozens of times. Change of plans and outfit. Um, something you have to be prepared for uh, with projects like this. Uh, when I was down underneath uh, the bus, there was a lot of debris falling down on me and it was not comfortable and not really productive to work that way. So I'm actually going to spend the rest of my day today and probably put into tomorrow just scraping and uh, vacuuming away the loose material. Um, undercoating underneath the bus that's like the rubberized stuff uh, a lot of that's peeled back there's also some surface rust on the frame and a lot of dirt uh, much of the the substructure of this bus has sort of like a c profile channel which is facing upward and years of mud and dirt have just kind of piled up inside of it so i just need to get as much of that cleared away as i can um, so that's what's gonna happen next I should mention, I was gonna have to do that anyway. Um, the original plan was to apply some Cora Seal uh, rust converter and uh, like a corrosion preventative uh, to all the, the rusted areas on the metal underneath the bus. So that was gonna require scraping and grinding and just debris removal. I love that word, debris, I use that all the time. Uh, anyway, it was gonna have to happen at some point, so I may as well do it now before I've got a, you know, any of the other prep work uh, that's gonna require time down there. <laughs>